So these questions have become more and more common. Um, they do not draw the rhombus for you. All right, so we draw a rhombus. Doesn't need to be a beautiful rhombus. So V, E, N, U. Remember the important part there is not where you start, but that you go continuously around the outside. I like to go clockwise. It says the diagonals intersect at S. So there's S. V, N is 12. EU is 16. What's the perimeter? All right. So the region seems to be fixated lately on that a rhombus has perpendicular diagonals. All right. I'm going to write down neat aside because they're all equal. All right. Fixated on the fact that rhombus has perpendicular diagonals and having you use Pythagorean theorem. There's been one of these on, I don't know, two thirds of the most recent tests. So there's a right angle right here. All right, which means I can do Pythagorean theorem. This is C. All right. But I don't just use the numbers they gave me because those are the whole diagonals. And what also happens in here is the diagonals, let's write perpendicular first because we already used that. And the diagonals bisect each other. All right, which means that this is 6 and this is 6 and this is 8 and this is eight. All right, so that's what that tells me. All right, that's what that tells me. So then I can come over here and I can do six squared plus eight squared equals C squared. That's 36 and 64 is 100. And that means C equals 10. Okay, now of course 10 is an answer, it's not 10. All right, I want the perimeter, so I'm going to multiply this by 4 because they're all equal. All right, so there's lots of places to get tripped up there, and we have to be extra careful when we're doing this stuff that we're really thinking about the rules. All right, there was two quadrilateral rules in play there. There was a right triangle rule. Uh, there was a perimeter rule. So there was like four rules all mixed into that one problem, and those are the things that we have to then look out for.